Moving along, this is what I think is the most important piece of all of the, of, of the whole process, screen printing as, as a whole, not to mention the specialty printing and the special effects that we're going to be talking about, is the screen. Why is that? Because it's the very mechanism by which our entire industry is named. It's called screen printing. It's not called shirt printing. It's not called ink printing. It's not called machine printing. It's called screen printing. It's the most important piece of, our, of the equation. A lot of people do. They buy a really nice automatic machine or manual machine, dryer. They get the best they can in inks and, and they buy Photoshop and Corel and they've got uh, brand new uh, 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 Super Max and the whole bit. And they overlook the screen and they, and, they, and they skimp on the screen. A, they don't buy enough of them. Or B, they buy a fairly low end product, meaning, uh, and I'm gonna explain this in a second, like a white mesh on, on wood frames. Um, and there's a problem with that. I'm going to show you how that works in just a second as we, as we move forward. Um, so suffice it to say, I believe the screen is the absolute most important piece of the equation. Now, if you can do really good vector art, really good raster art, whether it's a one-two color on white like we talked about in the first place, if you do that really well, dials in perfect registration, no flashing, no smearing, then the specialty printing comes real naturally. But the screen is the most important. I'm going to show you that. Um, if you think about what polyester mesh is, how it's made, the, the, the strands are polyester. And if you think about it, if you look under a microscope, it looks like this. You've got strands going this way and the, the next strands are woven going this way. So there's holes there <coughs> and strings, strings and strands. So if you think about tension, tension's a key word and we're going to talk about it. As you increase tension, those holes get bigger, right? Polyester has a memory. Polyester, as it relaxes over time, the holes get smaller, right? That doesn't make a lot of sense at first, but listen as I, as I move forward. As it keeps relaxing, the holes get smaller and smaller. Threads don't necessarily get any bigger. They actually do under a microscope, but the holes get smaller as it relaxes. So ultimately, what happens over a period of time is you have an old screen it doesn't work as well anymore. You're not sure why. A lot of it is because the holes have closed up on you. So what happens is as the mesh relaxes, um, let me, I'm gonna draw this for you here. If you think in terms of, here's your palette, here's your palette, and here's your screen, and we put emulsion on it to, um, this is our stencil right here, right? So our shirt lays on top of our palette. Our goal, whether we're doing high density, water-based, four color process, uh, no matter what it is, our goal, half tone work, vector work, whatever, is to fill this with ink and deposit that ink on top of the shirt. That's our goal for textured printing, water-based, whatever. As we increase our stencil, that's how we get high density printing and all that. What happens with low tension is you have to run higher off contact. And you say, well, that doesn't make any sense either. But listen to how this makes sense. Have you ever printed, say, white ink? You're pulling it across the screen and it hangs up in the, in the design. And when you go to lift it up, it rips it and leaves all this stucco. So what do you do to overcome that? increase the off contact, right? You raise so that when it's called peel, we want the screen to release behind the squeegee. Ideally, as we pull that, the screen releases right behind. It's called off contact. This distance, whoa, this distance has to be increased with low tension because the reason it's hanging up is it's not peeling right, so we have to increase that distance so that it peels. We overcome it by doing that. So what happens when we increase that distance is we have to increase our pressure, right? So when you increase your pressure, because A, now you're much higher than you need to be, but B, those holes have gotten smaller, so we have to really muscle it, especially say a white ink, to get it through the, the mesh. So now, anybody end up with image all over the pallets? That's from the pressure. So the easy thing is if you call one of the guys at Ryanette sometimes and they say, well, you got too much pressure. Well, it's easy to say, take the pressure off. Well, I can't because I'm a victim of all these things. I have to use more pressure because I have to increase my off contact because my tension's low. 
the only thing I can control is the tension. So if I increase the tension, all that changes, and now I can go back to my original goal. We, we're going to show you a bunch of stuff on retensionable frames. The key is retensionable so that I can increase them every time I reclaim them and take them back to whatever level my goal is. And we won't talk about the specifics of where they should be or anything like that. But suffice it to say, there's also a reason when you get a critical job, you call up and buy a bunch of new frames, don't you? It's because the holes are open more and you can control this stuff and, and as you increase off contact, then you get smearing between because you, you've got, a, as this mesh comes down, it stretches. So if that distance is too high, then it stretches a lot. So you're really having trouble sometimes holding registration. That's why you buy new frames when you have a new or a, uh, uh, a, a critical job. Um, and I'm not telling you, you know, you got to switch everything to retentionable frames. I think ultimately, if you want to do killer work at a uh, at a consistent level, you have to be able to control your tension. So at the very least, I would say you need to hold the folks accountable that are selling your frames and make sure that they're staying where they say they should stay, which means you're going to have to purchase a tension meter to be able to check those things. The only thing worse than low tension is inconsistent tension. Now when you take an old frame and put it with a new frame and you're trying to do a critical job and you notice and you can't make it register, that's because one screen is higher than the other one because you have to because of that tension thing. You can't control any of this. This is just science. That's physics. That's what you have to do in order to make whatever it is you are doing work. So if you can learn anything about it, it's opening up that mesh so that you can decrease your off contact and decrease your pressure and go back to our original goal. So if I'm doing a regular vector piece, now we can start talking about high density stuff and, the whole, and all the other specialty things that we're going to do. But if you're getting all kinds of smearing already, the specialty stuff will kick your butt.